Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll cover up all the survey questions available in the SurveyMaker plugin. The SurveyMaker plugin offers us more than 20 question types and in this example, I will show you all of them and we'll learn together how we can use the mentioned question types. So let's get started. The main purpose of the survey is to collect data, feedback and lead generation. So for that, it is important for us to have the name of our users and their email addresses. Of course, the SurveyMaker plugin has these two fields available in usage. The first one here is the name field and the second one is the email field. So here the users will need to write their names and in the second field they will need to write their email addresses. After that, we can see that the SurveyMaker plugin has the radio and checkbox or multiple choice question types. The radio question type can be used when uh, the users will need to have only one answer. So in this case, let it be train. And the checkbox type is used when the users can uh, have more than one or multiple answers. For example, apple or mango. Now let's move to the next section. Here we have two questions. The first one is drop down and the second one is liner or Likert scale. Here is how the drop down question type is used. We can click on it, choose the answer and that's all. The next one here is the liner or Likert scale question type where the users need to write from one to five their opinion. Here we are on the next page of our survey and here we have the net promoter score question type. This question type is mainly used when we want to get the needed data or feedback from our users and know whether there are some other improvements that we can make to improve our product or services. So for this question type, we have a standard question that is how likely are you to recommend our product or service to a friend or a colleague? Here the users will need to answer from 0 to 10 and based on this answer, we can make uh, improvements into our product or service. Next one is star rating. Again, a popular question type and I, I'm sure that you have seen this question type everywhere. Here users will need to uh, rate based on the stars. By clicking on the star, they will give you uh, the exact number. So for example, if they have chosen 5, they're giving you 5 points. If 3, 3. Let's click on the next button and see what other question types you will have. As said previously, the surveys are used for collecting users' feedback and just asking questions and giving them opportunity to click on the answer is not enough. Of course, we need to hear their own ideas. That is why the SurveyMaker plugin has two important question types available. The first one is paragraph, where users can add long answers and short. So let's write a text here. On the next page, here we have the number and the phone question types available. The number question type allows users to uh, write a number only. For example, for this question, uh, we can write here 4. Uh, so as you can see, I'm trying to uh, type a text, but the system uh, doesn't allow me to do it. The next one is phone, where the users again will need to write the numbers, so they are not able to put a text here. Let's just write an example and click on the next button. Here we have the date and time question types available. The date question type allows users to choose the exact date uh, and uh, by clicking on this icon they can see a um, calendar opening so they can choose a date and it will look like this. The time question type is designed to allow the users to select the exact time. So by clicking on this uh, input, we can see that this uh, pop-up is opened where we can choose the exact uh, time by doing this or just write it here. Let's move to the next section where we have date and time fields together. 
This question type is useful when we are creating, for example, an event survey or an appointment survey where we need to get the exact data, for example, when the uh, visitors will uh, show up. For example, here they can uh, choose the date and choose the time as well. So this is all about the date and the times. Now we are moving to the metric scale question type. The matrix scale question type is also a well-known question type used in uh, many surveys. I can say every survey has this question type available. Of course, the survey maker plugin uh, is not an exception. So here we can see that we have four options where the users will need to uh, choose their answers by clicking on, uh, on the options. And that's all. But the previous example was the metric scale with radio question type, but this one is metric scale with checkbox, where the users can choose more than one options from the uh, from the rows. For example, for the durability, they can choose um, if they are not uh, sure whether it's poor or neutral, they can choose both these options. The next one on the list is the ranking question type. So. All we need to do here is to rank the uh, options based on our uh, wish. So, for example, if we have our favorite pizza toppings, uh, we can rank them like this. Here again, you can see our favorite stars, but this one is not a star rating, it is star list. Here we can see that we have various rows and the users must uh, rate all of them. For example, uh, let it be like this. Now we are moving to the slider list question type. The question here is how would you rate the difficulty of our product to use? The users here will need to slide this icon and here we can see that we have the numbers so the users can give their numbers. The minimum here is 0 and the maximum is 100. On the next page of our survey we have two question types. Uh, the first one is yes or no, the simple question, uh, and the next one is slider. As you may have guessed from the name, this question type offers us two answer options. The first one is yes, and the second one is no. It's very simple. The next question type, slider, is somehow similar to the previously showed question type. Uh, again, the users will need to choose between the minimum and maximum range by just clicking on this icon. Now we are moving to the last page of our survey where we have file upload question type and the HTML question type. File upload question type is used when we want to ask our uh, users to attach a file. So the users will need to click on the add file button and attach their file from their uh, devices. The last question type here is the HTML question type, which is responsible for giving us the ability to uh, customize or design the, uh, the question from scratch. So if we want to, for example, add a video, we can embed it into this HTML question type. So these are all the question types available. Now let's go to to the dashboard of the survey maker plugin and see how these questions actually work and how we can create them. Here we are in the uh, dashboard of the survey maker plugin which I have already installed and activated. Uh, I would like to note that for using all the possible survey types available in the plugin, you will need to make use of the agency version of the survey maker plugin. Uh, this version includes all uh, 20 and more question types available. So here I have it already installed and activated and for creating a new survey, all you need to do is to click on the Add New button. So to save our time, uh, we will take a look at this example. So here we are. Here are all my questions created and as you can see, I have separated them into uh, sections. That is why, uh, for example, on the first page we had uh, four questions, on the second page we had two questions and so on. Uh, for that, you will need to just to click on the add section button and it will, um, it will be created. Here we can see that I have a blank section without a question. And by clicking on this uh, drop down, you can see all the available question types. So for choosing your desired question type, all you need to do is to click on it 
and that's all. Uh, for example, if I've chosen the Net Promoter Score question type, here is the template of it. But in case I want to have a star rating question type, uh, the template will be changed. And the same for all the question types. You may have noticed that here also we have a hidden question type which was not displayed on my example. Uh, this question type is mainly used when we want to uh, find the source of, uh, of the answer. For example, if you have a survey and you want to get feedback from various departments, uh, you do not have to ask the users to fill out from which department they are. Here you can choose the uh, hidden uh, question type and by clicking on this icon you can see that we have the URL parameters option. Uh, here we can write the parameter of that particular department and as soon as the users will fill out the survey uh, based on these parameters you can easily check from which department they are from. So if you want to have more than one question on a section, uh, all you need to do is to click on the add question button and another uh, question will be created. Uh, here we can see that we have the ability to make the questions required or in case we want, we want to add an image for an answer or uh, an, uh, a question image, the plugin allows us to do so. Uh, again, all we need to do is to click on the add image icon and uh, we, can, uh, we can import questions from media library or upload files from our device. So let's choose for example this image and click on the upload uh, button. Again, let's click on this uh, icon and see what uh, other features the uh, what other features here we have. Here we can see that we can move the questions into the sections. So here are all the possible sections. So we can choose one of these sections and the question will automatically move into that section. Uh, so here we can see that we have the logic jump feature available and if you want to learn more about it, uh, you can check out the video tutorial. The next one is user explanation and by activating this option, uh, we can give the users the ability to explain their answer. Uh, admin node, uh, the admin nodes feature is used when the uh, creator of the survey has some specific nodes that uh, uh, he wants to uh, put into the survey. So I guess that's all we need to know about the all possible survey types included in the survey maker plugin. In case you want a more detailed explanation, make sure to read our article, uh, which includes all the question types and there you can find the advantages of using this particular question type and how it will look like on your survey.